Welcome back to FTB Sky Factory, and today we're going to get rid of this. This is awful. Uh, well, it's a huge, huge inventory, but it's awful in that any time I put anything in, I take it out, it blinks off like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, so I'm going to just go and start crafting some stuff. So we're going to want some storage cable from Simple Storage Network. We're going to want uh, some blocks of quartz and a diamond, at least one. So I've got some of that going. And now we should be able to craft the Simple or the Storage Network Master. And that's good. So we should have that on the, uh, the app. There we go. We got the two quests. Uh, we are able to make a Simple Storage Network remote. Uh, we need a request block and we need a processing block. So let's take a look at the recipes for those. Uh, so let's just look for simple. That should be easy enough to look it up. So the request table or the request table, I assume that's what it wanted. Not press block. Uh, it needs four gold crafting table, which is going to be really straightforward. Uh, let's just craft four and we just need some gold. Of course, we have been crafting gold up. So I needed it for casting stuff. So that will do for that. And hopefully this is the block it's looking for. Uh, we need the crafting table itself first. There it goes. Crafting table. Okay. Is that the block? Yes, it is. And now we need a processing controller block. So that's a controller, I assume. That's going to need some lapis blocks, some processing cables, and some obsidian. I've got one obsidian left. Processing cables, uh, we need an observer, so we need nether quartz, redstone, and cobblestone. Got the cobblestone, um, got the got redstone somewhere. I'll dump it in here instead. Uh, I know I have some. Well, we can always make more. Uh, we can just get it straight from here. So, uh, straightforward to just get it from this recipe. I think I'll go and try and find some way of uh, compressing or um, otherwise automatically doing these this kind of recipe, 2x2s two and 3x3s, three etc. So redstone, nether quartz uh, are both fine, and then that means we can make it. So we need processing cable, uh, observer, so let's just craft a few of those. Okay, processing cable, I need gold nuggets which are simple enough. We've already got those. Okay, and uh, is that everything you need? For that recipe at least? I'll get 16 of them, and then I want one obsidian, which I've got one left. <laughs> Off it goes whenever I take something out, as well as put something in. And lapis is alive blocks, which are just the lapis acorns. And I've got those in here, so you'll see stuff is already starting to build up. Which is why an expandable storage system would be a really good idea right about now. Okay, and that's everything, I think. Okay, and there's the controller. So we also need a remote, so let's just see if the remote is in here. Um, network without crafting from Unlimited, we want used to access... Well, is that one made from the other? Network without crafting from a limited distance, 64 blocks. Well, if this has crafting in it, I'd prefer the crafting version. Um, so gold, storage import cable, storage export cable, very much like a 2 I would imagine. So we've got some storage cable, some hoppers, and we've got some a piston. I've not made a piston in the pack before, so we just need some planks. Um, planks will do. Why have I got that many iron acorns on me? Uh, did I put them in from one of these crafting grids? I probably did. Let's just make sure they're back where they belong. Right. Uh, remote, import cable, hoppers. Do I have any spare hoppers? I need iron for hoppers. I have iron in my inventory. Good. So, let's get a couple of you. That has let, let us get the import cable, and I'm just going to clear that for a second. What's the export cable recipe? That needs the piston, which we can get a couple of. And let's just make one batch of those. And then we just need four gold, and that should be that done as well. So four gold. And we should have a remote. Great. 
Where's the remote? <laughs> Indeed. So that's all of the simple storage stuff set up. Now, what I'm just wondering is if I can, uh, well, can I actually connect it to anything? Let's just see if I can put some stuff away for temporary export cables and such back in a second. So you're going to need some of this storage link cable. It's just storage cable around a chest. And I've then got unhooked this up. So first of all, our horrible boxes, <laughs> but underneath all the way onto underneath of these cabinets. Now, <clears throat> each of one of these storage links cables can only connect up to one storage at once. So you're going to, well, this is allows you to do all kinds of different filtering, but you can't just run them down the back like, like this because they'll only connect to one side. They favor that side. I don't know why, but that's probably just the order in the programming checks for storage, you know, checks north first or something. Uh, is that north? Um, no, that's uh, east. Yeah, I uh, can't see because the, the minimap is so small. It's only like three pixels for me. Anyway, um, that should be done now. So we can go and put the flooring back and everything should be okay. So if I just put this uh, back here, here and here and then we're okay to do this i think yep and then we just need a couple more pieces of stone okay so that looks quite seamless at least to me to my eyes and then you can just right click here and then we can request stuff so if we just uh, go for let's say um wood you craft well you can see 5000 wood in all the connected cabinets because there's certainly not 5000 wood in here however there is a bunch of stuff in here that i want so if i just click on here it says demote priority so smaller goes first so if i set this to a high number it shouldn't <laughs> it's the opposite of a2 i set this to a high number it shouldn't try and put stuff in here um until it's last can i actually shift click that no i guess i can't so let's just increase it uh do i want to blacklist stuff not particularly um or input and I can change that mode to be input only or output only so uh that is everything set it now can see all of the cabinets well all of this bank of cabinets i should say i'll need to run an underground uh to the next set of cabinets but you get the idea we have large amounts of storage double chests worth um expandable really and available from simple storage so i quite like that option anything that means i don't have to actually look in this chest is <laughs> is fine i don't care if it flickers if i'm not actually seeing it so that's fine too and uh we're able to presumably shift click stuff in here so why don't we try um let's just say a clay block or something clay and uh we should be able to shift click yep so that will work just fine can we just dump stuff back in. Yes, we can, as you would only expect. Storage remote um, that isn't actually doing anything. Do I need to shift right click one of these things? Ah, there we go. Now it's working. So I needed to shift right click or right click one of them. And now, as long as I'm within 64 blocks, I have a remote crafting interface. So yeah, I can start to clean up these cabinets. I think we'll put them all in the system in other cabinets essentially uh, or indeed look into uh, filing cabinets there is more to the simple storage mod uh, i think it's in simple storage uh, simple storage i uh, did see something about this but i didn't watch the whole video on um oh, whose channel was it i think it was oh, i can't remember it was one of the channels anyway so we can then make where are you not all simple turbine generators. I need to go and find it, but it's well, it's what we call filing cabinet. So let's just look under filing, uh, real filing cabinet. Okay, so that's slightly different. Uh, this is basically this pack's equivalent of your high end storage. So if you want something that stores two billion items, you can do it in filing cabinets. It seems like a strange, <laughs> strange way to do things, but it's that's there because uh, we don't have like deep storage what uh, what used to be called deep storage from um mfr which is now if industrial foregoing um there probably will be industrial foregoing industrial yeah there is industrial foregoing so uh, that's good however back to that filing cabinet i guess we can have a look at that uh that's just a chest and some iron bars that seems really cheap 
of course, and we need filing cabinets, or filing folders, I should say, which is paper. But uh, paper is... Um, <laughs> it's not much of a problem. Um, yeah, let's just uh, break that block. And it's raining sugarcane. Good. And we can get all, all of that together. There we go. And uh, that can go up again for a while. You don't need to worry about it. Uh, we can get paper automatically. And then paper can let us make folders. Presumably, like, oh, helps if I actually get that. And don't let go. There we go. So 48 filing folders. Craft with any item blocks that do not have durability. So we can store any of those. And that means I can get the iron bars made. So um, what I'll craft two sets. And we'll put those around with, um, we need four chests then. Three, three will do. Okay, so filing cabinets. And we're going to want to put them available to the same system. So I'm going to put, um, I can't really stack them up without having the cable up here. So I'm just going to put them like this. Yeah, animated drawers. Cool. So if we wanted, uh, well, let's just get rid of that for a second. If we wanted to set this to high priority, i.e. store stuff in here first, we could set this up such that, um, well, let's get that cable back. There we go. So we'd set this to try and store these into these by default. So as low number as we can get. And then we can put the floor back. And that should be pretty good. So we then just need to choose what we want to store in them. So for example, let's just say we wanted cobble. So cobble there, uh, cobblestone drawer. And let's, can we just get into you without me having to rearrange stuff? Can I put the drawer in there? Yep, I can. You can go away again. And cobblestone is in there now. Good. Uh, presumably I can store other stuff as well, though. So uh, is there anything else? For example, iron. Iron would be a good one. There we go. I wonder how many of these, uh, these, these it will actually store. Looks like maybe about eight. Okay, so anything we want masses amount of. And then if I put iron in here... It's gone. Hopefully, yep, there it goes. It's stored in here by default. So now I can take stuff like this, uh, all these away. That's got 64 stacks in it already. Uh, wood, for instance, and we want wood available. So that is a good one. Uh, we also want it to pull from these. So I'm not sure if we can do that without like a, an import cable. There is an import cable we need to get, but let's get that done. So we got wood available. And we'll put it in here as well. That's, that's just some wood. Uh, okay. Ah, I just have to click on the front of the filing folders. There we go. Uh, but it is formatted, so you don't need to actually worry about the number then. So yeah, we can't immediately set it to do anything to that unless we import from all of these, which is a bit of a pain, to be honest. But we only have to do it once. Um, you could set up import cables to the front of these, for instance, and that would all try and reprocess the stuff back through. Um, do we have any import cables? Uh, where did I put the cables for this thing? Ah, uh, those are the cables, didn't I? Where did I put them? Uh, are they in the system? <laughs> that would be uh, a cable. A cable? No. Okay, I put them somewhere else. One second. And yes, it works exactly as you expect, just a little bit slow. So, for example, I've got whitelist, just import all logs, please. And it is then importing them. But of course, it's slow. We may as well just do it by hand, to be honest, for the majority of the cases. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do that by hand. And we'll do that, um, you know, by the scenes, because I can just dump stuff from my inventory. So if I just drop it in here, um, it's going to store it in random cabinets anyway. It's going to pick one unless we have them already formatted in one of these filing cabinets or as a fallback into the crappy, horrible chest. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've even set a priority on that. Did I set a priority? Uh, yes, I set it to high, so last. Um, although I don't, really, I don't really like that chest. It's just sort of buggy. But it is certainly a lot more storage than these. 
So it may well be worthwhile crafting them once I have enough iron ingots and then I won't touch them again. I'll raise this priority and then they can just be stored wherever they like, pretty much. We don't have to actually worry about them. Uh, it is only a stopgap measure until we get to AE2, of course, but it is a very nice one all the same. The other option is that we just set all of these, and in fact we just change them from cabinets to something else. And instead of having them as storage, connected storage, we have them uh, basically with the uh, the importing cable or whatever it was called. Um, hang on, cable. Um, import cable, storage import cable. And we can just connect them all and then we just craft these. Now I don't exactly have enough to do that yet, but that seems like a way to avoid stuff just being in these cabinets in unnecessarily. And that means that I can just remove the top layer of these cabinets and bring all that, uh, all those trees down a notch to uh, to have that, because they're not going to need all of the storage if, um, if that's going to be the case. In, unless there is some kind of interface block that I could use to directly attach the bot. Well, we might be able to attach to the bottom of these Hobbin Bonsai pots. If they have an inventory, we could just attach to the bottom of them. Um, I wonder, can I... Ah, I'm not going to try it. I'm going to try it off camera anyway. But yeah, if we can attach to the bottom and then we can move them all the way down to the ground and then that's just everything cleaned up into lots of these and that I don't like but will do because of the storage size. <laughs> In any case, uh, now I can pretty much just craft all the stuff like amber pretty easily. I've just done a batch so it probably won't have any left but you get the idea. I can just shift click them all out. It's already done seven. And that's because of all the different ones that have iron in them. And then we can dump it back in here. And you can see this is not keeping up in any way, shape or form. <laughs> but we have it entirely automated, uh, aside from lava. So we do actually need to get this to be automated as well. We need some kind of pipe system for that. Uh, oh, it's got water in it because it's raining. Uh, right, that shouldn't happen anymore. <laughs> Let's get rid of you. We don't want water in our, in our lava cauldron. There we go. Hopefully that's not going to happen again. There we go. Good. Well, there we go. Full conversion. They are just hooked up straight to uh, storage import cables now. So no cabinets. I actually prefer this method. I didn't have a think about it. So yes, uh, there are these chests and we can take out anything that uh, looks objectionable. It does take a few attempts to actually get stuff out there. But if we then put it back into the system, um, we have all of these filing cabinets. For example, this one has cobblestone, 4,462, and oak wood is 15,000 or so. So you can see, obviously, we're getting a lot of stuff through here. And uh, these should import just fine. I have seen that those amounts are going up, so we have no problems. And uh, yeah, so I think I want to get rid of these. Well, are you going to... Oh, good. You're not going to give me lava flowing everywhere if I break these. I'm just going to really clean up this this entire area, really, and have it so that uh, everything is nice and flat again. Because we're going to be building lots more stuff for, I'm sure, the rest of the quests in the series. So let's just get these planks. Uh, if I don't want planks, I want stone. So let's just grab some stone from here. Uh, really easy to get that stuff. There we go. Looking pretty good. Uh, this jungle sapling on this side is not hooked up to the system yet. I don't really need jungle stuff at the moment, but I have got a, a filing drawer for it if I need to do that. However, I do want to probably think about some covers for that, making it look a little bit nicer. Other than that, we're probably going to relocate the market guy because he's, um, well, not really needed. However, uh, he does have stuff to trade for uh, emeralds, and we do have emeralds now, so... If we wanted to buy stuff from him, was there anything pretty nice that I can get out of here? Looks like miscellaneous stuff. There are all the different kinds of flowers, of course, for different kind of um, dye colours. The saplings, okay, and it's just mainly going to be seeds, I imagine. So is any any of this emeralds? I thought it would be. Let me just check. With the remaining time in this episode, I thought I'd actually just automate the lava into our meltery. I was sick and tired of going back there and actually, uh, well, redoing stuff. Let me just get this stuff out of the crafting grids. We don't actually need that out here anymore because it's all going to be stored in the filing cabinets, so that's great. 
and the same thing for you, you can go in there as well. So yes, uh, I was thinking of going for the precise dropper, because there's no randomness. Uh, however, that does need power, so we can go with something that doesn't need power. For example, this redstone clock will do the job. I've taken it off the left side, I need to craft another one. Uh, I need a quick hopper, and that should solve the problem. I've got plenty of them now, so that's plenty of that. So uh, up we go, and we need to get up to the top. Ah. I mean to go around to actually do this. Let's just go around. So I've got a dropper here. Remember to place a dropper, you need to do... Let's just go around down here. You need to put a block, uh, one above this. You want to leave... You can either leave a space, but then the default uh, dropper has got randomness to it. So it sometimes doesn't go into the cauldron. Anything that drops into the cauldron will, will get converted. So uh, we can just drop that down that way. And that will be oriented correctly. It should look like this, not... There's uh, another way it can be oriented that has a kind of sort of face on the side. That's wrong if you get it that way, so don't worry about it. And then above here, we're going to want to have, uh, well, I think I'll probably want to put a redstone clock out here. And then above this, I can then, uh, uh, don't want all on. Above this, I can put the uh, hopper down. And above that, we can put the cobblestone generator which should start supplying stuff. Why are you supplying stuff? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, there it is. It's building up. So we can put more in. And then that should drop into here as soon as the redstone clock triggers. So if we put a lever on top, just so I can control this, and then you've got to choose how often it tries to do this. Now, it's going to eject the, the cobblestone all over the place if you do this too, too quickly. So you just want this quite slow. Uh, we're going to add a delay of, I don't know, um, so 20 milliseconds, uh, 20 is basically one second, so that's six seconds, uh, seven, why don't we just go to 10 seconds, and we're just going to bring the duration down, it doesn't need to be very long, and that will be working just fine. So if I turn this on now, you'll see, uh, well, first of all, it may have already dropped stuff in there, but uh, that will automatically get pulled out by this fluid extraction cable. Straightforward from Cyclic, it needs you to craft a dropper, but uh, other than that, it is straightforward. So uh, let's just look at the fluid extraction cable. And there we go. So yeah, the dropper, weighted pressure plates, very straight, simple and straightforward. And I've got one on either side, and I'll keep these lava tanks full, hopefully. So if we uh, just show you by speeding this up, uh, can I put text entry? Yeah, so if I put that as 20, it should fire once every second. There we go. And are you starting to drop stuff in there yet? You're not. Why do you not drop? It should be working. These need to be crossed or uncrossed. I can never remember. Still not dropping. You're not liking that for some reason. Hmm. This is on. Okay, so the other way of doing it, if that's not going to let us work and do it, is the random method, and well, that definitely works. I was really hoping this would work. Hmm. Let's get rid of you and you, and this way you just basically do the same thing, but you just put the dropper a little bit further up. There we go, and that can be put in there, and you get the the idea. You're going to get a lever. Uh, in fact, we just let's actually. It's not really. There's no really good place to put this redstone clock, but let's just put it here and the lever can go on the outside. And there it goes. You see, it's going to start trying to drop stuff in there, but uh, that won't really succeed. You'll see until it actually hits the center of that crucible, which isn't always guaranteed. So uh, until we get to a precise dropper, that's probably the best you can actually do. And it does succeed, but just not very often. So uh, we may need some kind of feedback system into that. But uh, let's uh, leave it alone for a little while. And let's actually, let's actually speed this up because we can bring it down. And bring this down as well. So it'll start firing quite rapidly. Why are you not accepting the cobblestone? no longer accepting. That's probably the reason why the other one didn't work. Hmm. Okay, let me figure this one out. 
and it's just me it is actually working so maybe the other one was working as well um what's happening is uh, instead of waiting for four it's just extracting immediately so that's absolutely fine um so we don't have any need for you and i'll just go and replace everything down the way it was before i think and that should be that build done uh we can just pop that in and then where's my dropper there it goes and we can place everything back the way it was before put in for review and that should be that sorted so i think that'll do it for today we've upgraded our storage system you can hear it actually converting and that was on 2900 so it's now on 3100 which is good enough and then on top we'll be able to put in our the usual stuff we did before so just a hopper there we go and on top of that we'll then go and uh find a place we can actually get to this there we go all right, so that's that pretty much done and automated. It will provide lava pretty much infinitely. Now we could uh, also put lava into a separate tank. Something like an ender tank would do the job. Um, we haven't got two ender pearls yet though, and ender pearls are gonna be needed before we do that. Uh, blaze rods we can get hopefully from blaze powder. Can we convert them? I guess not. Hellish matter, overworlding matter. Uh, that that looks pretty late game, so mm, blaze. We may need a blaze farm at some point. However, for now, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with our storage. Next episode, we're going to get into more of the sort of uh, ender pearl kind of generation stuff, and then into the various blocks that that enables. So in our quest book, we've got all this done, all this done. We do need to get the upgrades crafted, if only to get the quest complete, and the backpack maximum size backpack the shipping containers well we don't really need them given that we've got filing uh, cabinets but we're gonna have to craft them for the, the the whole of this thing and then the rest of this is just a2 and i suppose we could craft a2 and leave it alone because this quest only needs us to get a few different things and we'll have to see what the recipes are like for that however i'll leave it for today and we'll see you next time for some more sky factory 4 if you enjoyed the episode, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to click on the bell if you have notifications, but more important than all of that, leave comments in the comments section down below with advice for your fellow players. Otherwise, we'll see you next time, and thanks for watching. Yeah, you know I put that in the wrong place, didn't you? Obviously, that hopper needs to go there. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Stupid?